What's going on YouTube? GiasNorite here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to recover your photos and how to fix your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch stuck in recovery mode using a new program from iMobile and it's called Phone Rescue. Now they contacted me about this program and it's pretty good. So we're going to take a look and see what it can do. Now before we start with the tutorial, I would like to inform you that the Phone Rescue program is available for both iOS and for Android. So if you have an Android device as well, it also provides provide support for that on a separate phone rescue for Android. And as you can see, it's able to root, it's able to extract data, it's able to recover from iTunes, it's able to fix iOS if it's broken and so on. So there are a lot of things that you can do using the phone rescue. We're going to concentrate on the phone rescue for iOS since the channel is about iOS and this is the program that I was given for a review. So the program itself can be easily installed and that's one of the points that I want to make. The program is built with the average user in mind and it's not complicated it's not complicated to install it's not complicated to use it's been built with the user in mind in order to install it you just have to drag this one and drop it in here into your applications folder and there you go no setups no root password required or something like that which is something that I appreciate because they think about the average user who might not have enough knowledge to go through a very complicated setup once it's installed the program looks like this and I can say that this is very very well looking the graphics in the program the way the program looks it's pretty slick looks okay, animations, icons, everything is clear, everything is marked and I really like the color scheme that they have chosen. So in the design department what I can say is that they really nailed it. I really like the design of this program. As a programmer myself I can really appreciate what they have done in here. Again, it's simple, it's easy to use. They thought about the average user who might not be technical enough to know how to use a program that doesn't bring everything on the plate. So um, in order to continue, we have a few quick tips in here, which are very important. Before you can start recovering your data from your device, it's a good idea to turn the airplane mode on. This will disable notifications, internet connection and so on on the device and may of course uh, help to not disturb the process of recovery. Then prohibit running of any apps on the background. This is again very important since the background applications may write and read data from the device's storage, which may again interfere with the uh, data extraction. Turn off iTunes and other similar third-party software. Well, this is very important since um, iTunes particularly, but many other software may create backups in the background, which of course may interfere with the way Phone Rescue works. Avoid using the system cleaning software because most of them are fake on iOS. And of course, ensure that USB connection is stable. Do not use hubs, do not use, um, you know, cables that are cheap and very badly made, use the original cable that came with your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch and connect it directly to a computer. If you don't want this to be shown again, you press don't show this next time and of course we're going to press I'm ready to start. Now once you're in, the program is as clean as you can get and it pretty much explains you some common scenarios that you can get in here. You can have lost data due to mistaken deletion, forgot screen passcode, device screen is damaged and you cannot get your data, device is broken and unresponsive and so on. And there are a couple things that you can do. You can recover raw data from the device, that being contacts, photos and so on. You can recover this data from an iTunes backup. You can recover it from iCloud if you want and if you've been using iCloud for your backups and you can fix the iOS device. Now, the common scenarios in here are pretty, pretty well made. It says iOS upgrade failure, and this does happen, stuck on white Apple logo, and that's definitely something that happens pretty often when a device running iOS breaks, and then unable to start iOS for whatever reason, and the device is in recovery mode. Now, recovery mode means that your device has this little iTunes logo on the screen with a power cable beneath it, and it doesn't boot past that. And we're going to try to fix one of these devices that I have in here and that has the iTunes logo and it's not powering on but first let's recover some data. So I'm going to connect this iPod touch and I'm going to try to extract the data from it in order to see if the program is able to handle that. So 
I'm going to select this, recover from iOS device, and I'm going to press next. So as you can see, the program is pretty simple to use. And I really like the fact that you are being asked whether you want to recover a particular item, for example, your contacts, your notes, your photos, or if you want to recover anything. Now you're going to ask me, how is this different than what iTunes can do? Well, iTunes will create a backup of everything, absolutely anything on the device, not something that you really want, for example, only your contact or only your photos or only your notes. And iTunes will put the backup in a folder that is pretty, pretty hard to reach. This one will make it very easy to access your data without any other third party software. So I'm going to choose that I don't need any personal data from here. Since this one is an iPod, it doesn't have contacts, call history or messages on it because I didn't use it to like talk with people, but I'm going to get the photos from it and I'm going to press OK. In the next second, the program will start scanning the device with, again, very neat graphics and very easy to understand program interface. And once everything is done, it will show up everything that it can find. And there we go, it's 94%. I just have a couple photos in here that we use for testing, but I just want to see if the um, if the program is able to find whatever I need. Okay, there we go. It says analyzing your device data and yes, we press yes, I know. And you can see that my photos are definitely in here and I'm able to pretty much uh, either put them on the device or get them to the computer. Let me get them to the computer. I'm going to press in here. Again, very, very neat graphics, something that you don't really see on many programs. It has generated a new folder for the extracted data. And as you can see, all my photos are neatly put in here which is quite okay. You can see everything seems to be okay. Let me actually open something else. Yep, everything is okay. So I can pretty much get my photos easier than having to make a backup or having to use the photos application on Mac. So the next thing I want to do is to pretty much try to get the device out of the recovery mode. For that, I will get a broken iPhone. So bear with me a second okay so i have connected the broken device and it says in here your device is in recovery mode which means that my iphone is currently showing the itunes logo with the power cable and it's refusing to power on now normally itunes doesn't have an option to simply exit recovery mode itunes will definitely try to simply reflash the ios again to the device now that's a little bit of a brutal uh, method to do since you might be able to exit the recovery mode without having to reflash or to restore the device again. We press uh, iOS repair tools in here and we have two modes. Now you can see that you have the standard mode and the advanced mode. Now both of these will try to restore your device to the latest version, but one of these will pretty much preserve your data. The advanced mode in here will still update your device to the latest version, so do not use these if you're trying to jailbreak and you want to remain on a specific version, but these are guaranteed to fix a broken iOS, if the problem is not hardware, of course. The standard mode in here is very useful if you're stuck on the Apple logo, recovery mode, and so on, and the advanced mode pretty much fixes issues that are bigger, but we don't need any of these, we just need to press exit recovery mode. If I press this, it says please connect your device and the device has actually restarted. I'm going to wait for it to completely restart. I'm going to go back home in here and wait for the device to start and sure enough, it shows the Apple logo and it's no longer in recovery mode. So with a simple click, I'm able to exit the recovery mode and there we go. So it says please unlock your device and trust this computer. Well, the device hasn't powered on yet. Okay, it did now. It's on the lock screen and okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm able to pretty much disconnect it and connect it again. Okay. And as you can see, it says your Sam's iPhone is connected. This is a completely different iPhone than the iPod Touch we used to recover data from. So as you can see, it worked pretty fine. It took the device out of the recovery mode and that was pretty simple and pretty clean. Now let's see if we can recover something from an iTunes backup. We're going to select the iTunes backup. And as you can see, we have a couple backups made in here. I'm going to select this one, for example, and I want to browse it. So I'm going to just go ahead and let's say I'm just interested in the photos again. And sure enough, it can pretty much do that without any phone being connected. And I can still send everything to the phone if I connect one. So I'm going to connect the phone. 
Okay, it sees your SAM iPhone is connected and now I'm pretty much able to press this button and send everything to the phone. So yeah, I really like the um, the fact that this program is pretty pretty easy to use and the settings menu is actually pretty easy to use. If you take a look in here, it gives you some options on the way you want to save everything. It gives you options to save your contacts, for example, in either CSV or VCF your messages in either HTML or text and so on, which is quite good. Then you can set the export path by default being the documents folder and the backup path by default being the um, backup folder of iTunes. You can convert the photos to GPG format when exporting. You can export your contacts to the contacts app on your Mac if you want and you will have neatly organized in the um, in the app. And then you can have photo export option which keeps the photo date info that was created on the device. So it pretty much keeps the EXIF information. So that's pretty much the settings. If you want help on the uh, software, you press this and you're being brought to their website where they have guides for absolutely everything which is again something that I really like. If you want a free trial of this program, you can get it in the description down below. I'm going to show you how. You press here, free download, and you're going to get the program and you select whether you want it for Windows or whether you want it for the Mac. Again, the same thing for the Android. You can get it for Windows or you can get it for the Mac, which I pretty much like quite a lot. If you want to contact the support, you can do so by sending them an email. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this program. I really like this program. Phone Rescue is definitely a good program. I like the icon, I like the interface. I like pretty much everything about this program, so I definitely recommend it to you. If I have to make like a conclusion, I really really like their interface. It's easy and it's very easy to use for the average user who might not be technical enough to browse folders in the deep file system where iTunes puts the backups and so on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.